I don't want to read your diary. It's not my diary. I don't care what your first time felt like. It's not my diary. It's a notebook I write thoughts down in. That's a fucking diary. The Hollywood Reporter columnist and NBA Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has chosen his favorite films and TV shows of 2017, a year he writes that has been the most politically contentious and divisive year in decades. The ex-NBA star says these picks helped him get through an emotionally and spiritually trying year in which the news headlines were more outrageous than any comedy or drama Hollywood could conjure. First up, let's check out Abdul-Jabbar's top three films that meant something. Apparently, a whole bunch of brothers been missing in this suburb. But it's cool. Bro, how you not scared of this, man? Kicking us off at number three, Jordan Peele's hugely successful horror comedy, Get Out. According to Abdul-Jabbar, the theme in American politics this year has been about attempts to silence dissenters by calling them liars, hindering their vote, and telling them they can't kneel during the national anthem. Get Out addresses that theme in a frightening and memorable way. My daughter Angela was murdered seven months ago. It seems to me the police department is too busy torturing black folks to solve actual crime. What the hell is this? Our columnist has this to say about his number two pick. Three Billboards presents a cast of deeply troubled characters struggling with debilitating guilt while desperately seeking redemption. The film also subtly examines how violence is America's go-to remedy for problems, whether inflicted on others or self-inflicted. He praises the film for being emotionally touching, yet also very funny, noting that the story shows an inspiring compassion for human frailty. We need to take action, any kind of action, by any means necessary. Even though it was technically released last year, Abdul-Jabbar's number one choice, the documentary I Am Not Your Negro reached most of the country in 2017. Our columnist calls it a powerful and insightful exploration of racism through the eyes of one of America's most eloquent writers, James Baldwin, as he details the life and deaths of his three friends, Medgar Evers, Malcolm X, and Martin Luther King Jr. This riveting film serves as a stirring and bleak reminder of how far we still have to go. Noting that great art can sometimes just be great fun, Abdul-Jabbar also lists his favorite just for fun films. On that list, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine swan song, Logan, comes in at number three, Marvel's Thor Ragnarok holds the number two slot, and coming in at number one, none other than the Patty Jenkins-directed Wonder Woman. When it comes to TV, Abdul-Jabbar writes, over the last five years, television has eclipsed movies as the go-to art form for those seeking stories that explore the human condition with thematic depth and emotional honesty while providing sheer entertainment value. So let's take a look at the top three new TV shows that had the columnist glued to his screen. Let's all talk about this like civilized folks. Sure, come on in. I suggest we all first lower our weapons. The ex-NBA star enthuses that Netflix's Godless has everything a fan of the genre could hope for. Fast guns, ruthless villains, disaffected buffalo soldiers, tough women, romance, and shootouts. But it's also much more than that, he says, calling it an intelligent exploration of moral codes, gender roles, racial relations, and capitalism. There's something here about miming a whore, tickling a man's testicles. Oh, I did oh, yeah, do that. she did. It was fucking funny. Abdul-Jabbar suggests that comedy drama The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel may be the funniest and most feminist show on television. He writes that the show features witty dialogue and stand-up routines that are searingly incisive. Her coming of age reflects the country's own maturation from blind trust and authority in the 50s to questioning everything. Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Howdy. Where's my five million dollars? Our columnist describes his top TV choice, Netflix crime drama Ozark, as binge-worthy. Referencing Jason Bateman and Laura Linney's turns as a married couple with children whose corrupt pursuit of the American dream destroys their lives, Abdul-Jabbar writes, they reflect an America who traded conscience for cash, progress for passivity, morality for upward mobility. Their attempts to rebuild their family trust while staying one step ahead of a drug cartel, the law, and local hillbilly criminals creates a modern noir classic. For Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's full movie and TV picks, head to THR.com. In the meantime, did any of your favorites make his list? And what are your own picks? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.